Welcome everybody, we're back at the Riley Center on the beautiful campus of St. Bonaventure University for tonight's exhibition game between the Alfred University Saxons and the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. I'm Tom Ames alongside Chris Shetner. We're excited to bring you tonight's action and really excited to have the fans back here in the Riley Center, Chris. Yeah, Tom, it's great to be back in here, and it's also just great to have the fans. Last year doing games, it was so eerie being in the Riley Center. It was quiet. You could hear everything. The atmosphere wasn't right. Tonight feels right, Tom. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm not only broadcaster, but I'm a season ticket holder, and I just can't wait to get this, this season rocking and rolling. We're going to take a look here at our impact players soon, presented by University primary care, providing care for the whole family. First for the Saxon, Saxons under new head coach Eric Kempfe, the six foot eight senior Brewster Marshall, averaging 13.2 points per game last year and 4.5 rebounds per game. That led the team. Yeah, Marshall stands six eight. He's their tallest guy and their best chance against Oshun Oshuni on the other end. Also had a block each game he played in last year. Came off the bench though, so Awesome to see him get a start now as he progresses in his career. And for the Bonnies, it's Jaron Holmes. Last year, he averaged 13.8 points per game. All five starters were in double figures last last year. Kyle Lofton, who maybe uh, would have been our player to watch, our impact player, but Kyle is out tonight. He's got a precautionary sit here with a little leg bone bruise, as is Jalen Attaway. He's got a high ankle sprain. He'll be out at least for tonight's contest. So now we'll go to our starting lineups presented by CPL. First for Alfred, the Saxons, is Cole Eels, Kevin Durkin, Mike Schmidt, of course that's Coach Mark Schmidt's son, Elliot Bowen, and, and Brewster Marshall. And on for St. Bonaventure, as you see Dominic Welch being called out. It'll be Welch, Quadri Adams, the Wake Forest transfer, Linton Brown, the Herald of Juco player. We're really lucky to have him here. Jaron Holmes and Oshun Oshunie, the terrific player. He's last year's defensive player of the year in the A-10. This year he's along with uh, Lofton. He's first team A-10, first team pick preseason. I know that doesn't uh, get you much but a cup of coffee, but it's certainly nice, and, and Bonaventure, of course, is the preseason pick for uh, first in the, in the league going in. But again, you just get you a cup of coffee. The keys to the game are brought to you by Tim Hortons. And Alfred, they need to keep up with the Bonnies. Good luck with that. And they need to try to control the offensive boards. And as long as Oshun's on the, on the floor, that's going to be a tough thing. The Bonnies, they're really just trying to get some quality minutes for all their players. I don't think our, our regular starting five, well, it's starting three now, <laughs> are going to see a lot of time. And it's great to see people back in the Riley Center. These fans are hungry for some live entertainment. Yeah, you definitely just get them excited early on. We always say in exhibition games, get your minutes, get out, stay healthy. And to see two new guys right away, I think that's one of the most exciting parts about the exhibition game every year is you get to see the newcomers, and there's a lot of them from St. Bonaventure. So the Bonnies having their last few minutes from head coach Mark Schmidt. Mark is in his 15th year. He's 245 against 185 losses. That's 57% if you're doing the arithmetic. Last year, the Bonnies 16 and 5 overall, 11 and 4 in A-10 play. The losses were at Rhode Island, at St. Louis, at VCU, and Dayton here in the Rally Center. The only loss in the Rally Center for the Bonnies last year, and then of course LSU and the Big Dance. What a what a horrible draw last year. I mean, if you're going to be a nine seed, that's the worst date. All right. We're ready to tip it off here, and Oshun in the tip circle, and to no one's surprise, he wins the tip, and Jaron Holmes brings it into forecourt. Brewster was almost laughing on that one, knowing Oshun had him by a mile. Dump it down low. Welch working with his back to the basket, finds Jaron Holmes. Holmes a little fade away at the elbow, count it. Jaron Holmes is going to play the point tonight. We'll get to see what it looks like with him leading the way, and starts it off early. Mike Schmidt into forecourt, last year's leading scorer, drives the baseline, kicks it out. Corner three for the Saxons, count it! 
That was Kevin Durkin, the senior. Yeah, Durkin started all seven games last year, only scored two points, so that's more than he had per game a year ago. Right side, Quadri Adams kicks it over to Linton Brown. He drives baseline, power move, reverse won't go. There's an offensive board, the putback won't go as well. Even though he missed it, good to see Linton Brown be aggressive. We know he's a shooter, 48% at the JUCO ranks last year, but to see him attack off the dribble is a good sign. Saxon's got a little penetration. Now they kick it out baseline. That's a way off the mark. Welch on the glass. Holmes divvies down low. Ashun trying to assert himself offensively. Kisses it off the glass. No. Just a little too strong. A little hesitation move from Oshun. Saxon's into forecourt. Schmidt trying to get a pick out front. He's a good shooter. Trying to get a good look. Pass down low. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Saxons. So the first turnover of the ball game. That was a good look inside from Schmidt. Bowen just was not ready for it. Schmidt averaged four and a half assists a game last year. Really led pace in just about every category offensively. Bonnie's working the half court. Brown up top. They'll swing it over. Adams looks, got a little pick there, dumps it in the corner. Welch from distance, that one long. Rebound underneath, and the Saxtons control the board. That one from Welch looked like he pushed it. Schmidt had a great cutter there, couldn't hit him, and the triple on the outside is no good. Coming the other way, the Bonnies dump it down low. Kick it outside, Linton Brown from the corner, can't get it. Good ball movement there to get that open shot just a little strong. Is everyone still trying to settle in? Yeah, this, they had that nice triple from the Saxons early. Otherwise, it's been some cold shooting. Schmidt will take it to the rack, and what a nice movement in air off the left and gets it to go. Five to two now. Bonnie's on the wrong end of that one. Have to be a little crafty when you've got a taller defender on you, and Schmidt just hung in the air longer than Welch. Down low, Oshun, he gets it to go, and they're going to call him for steps. So Bonnie's turning it over. A little sloppy so far, but it's the exhibition game. You just want to get your feet wet. It's got to be weird, too, Tom, just having fans back, right? Ah, it's As great you're playing. stuff. Great stuff. A lot more fans here tonight for exhibition than I anticipated. <laughs> Schmidt now trying to create off the dribble. A little crossover goes to the rim. No. Oshun on the glass. Here comes Holmes, leading the break. They find Linton Brown from the wing. Count it! A little more comfortable there was Brown. He stepped right into it, let it fly. His first three in the Riley Center. We're tied at five early. Schmidt into forecourt. Holmes picking him up. Adams playing some good D on the perimeter. They get it down low. Back out front, shot clock at 10. Schmidt trying to get a restart, not a lot of time. Run a big play here. Schmidt's gonna have to pull the trigger, a little runner in the lane, are you kidding me? Count it! Wow, talk about a highlight level play right away. Mike Schmidt. It was almost a teardrop, but it happened to be from 19 <laughs> feet. Seven to five, Saxons over the bodies. Brown looks down low on a cutting Adams, not there. Back up top, Holmes restart. Now Quadri Adams gets a look from triple and can't get it to go. Good glass by number 44, Brewster Marshall. Bonnie's fans, if you remember, Ogo Adeboye, that shot looked a lot like his except from the right side with that leg kick and a split. Yeah, Adeboye had that little funny rotation uh, on his jumper. There's a timeout on the floor, and we'll take one as well. You're watching Men's College Basketball on ESPN+. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive.
It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's drive. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. I told you I was gonna win. With Windows 11, gaming performs to another level. Let's go! And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. It's so cool that we'll have access to movie theater level quality pretty much anywhere. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. I can't believe there's no lag. I didn't realize how bad you were until I got these really good graphics. <laughs> Back at the Riley Center after the first media timeout, the under-16 timeout. 15-31 left to go in the first half here. The Saxons up 7-5 over the Bonnies. Everybody, everybody's cold here, Chris. Yeah, it's been a tough start for the Bonnies, and it's been the Mike Schmidt, the Mike Schmidt show for Alfred. And there's Schmidt open up after the media timeout. Takes a perimeter shot. No good. Steal on the perimeter. Here comes Welsh in traffic. Going to the rim. Count it. Bonnie's tied at seven. What a play, start to finish. Dom Welch made everything happen. Dom Welch, you're right, with a steal on the side, got the feedback from Linton Brown. Nothing like rewarding some hustle there. And we're going to get a offensive foul, and they're going to ding Casey Curran, also son of a Bonnie coach, Steve Curran. So first foul of the ball game, that was on the floor, non-shooting. Bonnie's into forecourt, Brown up top. They go to the elbow. Oshun, great passer from that position. Finds Welch, count it! Tom Welch picking up where he left off last year. He led the team in threes with 51. Good to see him find the stroke. Bonnie's with the first lead since two to nothing. That one just looked more like their offense. Schmidt goes to the rim. He'll draw a foul. And it's Joriam Saizano checking into the ball game. I think a lot of people are excited to see Saizano today. Uh, there's, we're going to see some uh, nifty players here. Saizano out of the Netherlands. Buddies with Anwar Malouk, also a freshman from the Netherlands. Kind of came together as a package. And this is a shooting foul. And Schmidt knocks down the first of two. We're going to see a lot of, I believe, Abdul Karim Koulibaly. He's from Mali, but he spent time in Pittsburgh, and he's played in Africa, just was in, a, in Rwanda for a big tournament. So he's got some, some experience. Bonnie's coming the other way, and there's the big man for the jam. The first flush from Oshun, Oshuni of the young season. Little courtesy pressure in the backcourt by Saizano against Schmidt. Schmidt finds outside a triple, and that one off the glass, no good. Rebound. Linton Brown up ahead, Jaron Holmes. Browns drives it down, kicks it out. Brown on the baseline, goes to the rim, count it, and they're going to get a foul. We'll see if they'll count it. Are they going to give it to him? They're going to give it to him. So one free throw coming from Linton Brown. It's Brown's fifth point. Yeah, Brown's done a good job of attacking. Anytime they close out, he didn't average 18 points last year for no reason. Yeah, tough Juco player. Free throw no good. Schmidt into four court for the Saxons. They trail Bonnie's by five. Schmidt trying to get to the rim. He does. That nice left on the tank along the baseline is good. Well, he's crafty with that left hand. Jaron Holmes takes a quick three, and there's the putback on the miss by Oshun Oshunier. Yep. And there is a timeout taken by the Saxons. We'll take one as well. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus.
16 for St. Bonaventure and 11 for the Alfred Saxons. Alfred Saxons, they're, they're a D3 team. They play in the Empire 8 with teams like St. John Fisher, Utica, Nazareth, Sage, Houghton, Cuca, Elmira, Hartwick. And Alfred last year on a shortened season was 5-2. and two. That was good for fourth place. Undefeated St. John Fisher won that Empire 8 last year. So the Saxons with the basketball in the backcourt. Here comes that courtesy pressure again by Holmes. Trying to wear Schmidt out, I think. Schmidt gets it back, dumps it in the corner. That might be the best defense against them. Wear them out. A little corner pass. That is dangerous. Saxons gather it back in. Schmidt gets it back. That shot clock is deep. Out of bounds with just five to shoot. A really strong pressure defense from St. Bonaventure on that possession. And the Saxons will have a, a line change here. Looks like a hockey game. <laughs> Durkin returns. It's like Sam Erickson, a Franklinville, New York product, is back out on the floor. And there quickly the shot is taken from downtown by Adam Enders. That no good. Linton Brown on the glass. Welch goes down low, and there is that Koulibaly. That's his strength offensively. Is he's very strong in the pick and roll. Should be a, a nice piece for the Bonnies, especially to spell Oshuno Shuni this year. Abdul Kareem Koulibaly, the six foot nine redshirt sophomore, knocks it down. And Koulibaly gets a rebound on the defensive end. So use that big long frame there to alter that shot. Saizono goes outside for Welch, and Welch's triple from the corner is long. And Kareem Koulibaly on the rebound. Back over to Koulibaly. He's fouled. That was probably a good foul. Great hustle by Koulibaly to get the rebound, set the play up, and then good patience from Holmes. As you see the feed inside, nice pump fake, draws the foul. Foul goes against Brewster Marshall, one of the best players for the Saxons, and just his first, and, and that was saving a bucket there. So the southpaw, Kareem Koulibaly, knocks, uh, misses the first of two. And Justin and Jock Tajore from Quebec, the freshman six foot seven, enters the ball game for the Bonnies. Second free throw is good for the Saxons, or for the Bonnies. Coming the other way, Justin Phillips now inserted into the Saxon lineup. He's out front. Picked up by Saizano. Corner pass. Triple not taken. They go back down low. Shot clock under 10. In the corner, there's a bomb three. That's off the, the side of the glass. And out of bounds. Really good defense from the Bonnie. Scrambling everywhere. Media timeout on the floor, the under-12 timeout. We'll take one as well. You're watching Men's College Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act on their love so they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. Do, 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 do. The quarter pound king in the two for six, only at BK. Shop our holiday best deals now through Saturday at Target. Save on select Beats headphones. 
TVs, laptops, and more. With new deals starting Thursday at Target. We're back at the Riley Center, which looks, Chris, maybe, would you call it almost half full? Yeah, absolutely. A very good turnout so far for the exhibition game, and it's good to see the student section nice and packed. So we're working with just two cameras here today. The, the main camera that's way up high that kind of gives the, the typical shot that we're all used to when we watch a basketball game is, is uh, uncooperative, shall we say, that camera. So one camera at each end. Alfred gets it in bounds. Bowen kicks it outside. There's a triple attempt, and a foul's going to be called. And that'll send Justin Phillips. And Saizano just trailing a little too close there. Runs into the shooter. As you'll see it right here, coming around the screen, trying to get through. Easy call. There was a little confusion, I thought, in the Saxon team there. They, they all ran down to the defensive end, but I guess that's by design. So Phillips will have three, knocks down the first. I might have taken one look at Koulibaly and said, we have no chance against a rebound here. Yeah, good point. For yeah. Saizano and any of the other freshmen, that's going to be one of the big things is can you limit mistakes? That's how it always is for freshmen in Mark Schmidt's system. He always plays that shorter bench, so who can limit mistakes, stay in the rotation early in the season? Saxon's draw to within five. On three free throws. Linton Brown gets a triple from the side, knocks it down. Another pure stroke from Linton Brown. Eight points. So that's a good show, and Linton Brown probably would not have gotten the start had there not been some injury problems for the Bonnies, including Lofton and Attaway. But now Brown making the most of his minutes. Saxons dump it down low. Trying to work with his back to the bucket is Brewster Marshall and count it. First time we've seen Marshall get one inside. Really good move. Koulibaly now playing the five. He kicks it outside to Zizano. And he finds Brown down in the corner. And there is the triple missed by Njak Tajore. And the Saxons get it back on the defensive board. Marshall way out front. Marshall playing the five. We're going to get a little Bonnie foul as Jack DeJore was a little too cozy out on the perimeter. You're kind of on an island there, and the, the, the officials can see him. Yeah, right in front of him, and the coaching staff says to him, just drop down. you got to get low, get in a stance, or they're going to call it every time. Foul on the floor, so Saxons bring it in, and Phillips drives to the elbow, kicks it out. Now back inside, Elliot Bowen working with his back to the bucket. Tall task there, he draws the double team in the corner. And they need to squeeze a shot off. They're gonna be a shot clock violation. Really good defense, that was caused by Koulibaly. He was able to knock the ball out, and then the Saxons were trapped. Yeah, and I'm not so sure Kevin Durkin had a real good sense of where that clock was at. Definitely. And Kareem Koulibaly kicks it outside. Now Holmes working off the dribble. Drives it inside. Pulls up. Little teardrop off the rim. No good. Offensive glass, though. Kareem Koulibaly knocks it down. That's a tough rebound in traffic and able to fight through the contact and lay it home. Well, Bonnie so desperately needs another five, and I think they've got their man in Kareem Koulibaly. He's a beast down low. Yeah, not only for this year, but for years coming forward. Nice take by the Saxtons, and there'll be a foul on the miss and the putback, and that will send Brewster Marshall to the stripe. He'll shoot a pair. Yeah, last two trips down for them. He's last two trips he's touched it, I should say, inside. Able to finish. And a good follow here. No box out, as you see, from Njok Tajori. And Marshall cleans it up. First year head coach for the Saxons, Eric Kempfe. He was an assistant for four seasons for RPI, which is out on the eastern, almost the extreme eastern side of New York State. 
Rensselaer Pally Tech uh, Institute. Bonnie's now in the forecourt. They lead by four. Coming up on about nine and a half left to go in the first half. Different defensive look for Holmes. We'll see how he navigates it. Step back, Welch, and he's partially blocked there. Some offensive glass for the Bonnies on the miss. And there's the hammer! And Jack Tajore, the freshman! Well, Under Armour Canadian Elite called them Canada's best kept secret, and you just found out why. What a dunk from Njok Tajore. Saxon's the other way. In the corner, Durkin thought about it in the back up top. That number 11 is a special number for St. Bonaventure. Courtney Stockard's old number. Brewster finds, Brewster Marshall finds the shooter in the corner, and that's good for a triple. And the Saxons hanging around just down by three with 8.40 left to go before intermission. Kareem Koulibaly, and he knocks down the 16-footer. <laughs> you love to see that out of your big man. And yeah, Mark Schmidt was very complimentary during media day and when he was asked, Who's that guy outside of the starting five? Every time it was Kareem Koulibaly. Nice take by Justin Phillips. Kind of gets away with a walk there. And Bonnie's, though, bringing it to four court. That's a shot Dom Welch wanted to shoot. Welch, he'll get another look at it from the wing. And this one a little long. There's an offensive glass by Quadri Adams. And his put back, he'll be hacked. And Adams will shoot a pair. I love that rebound and that intensity. Crashing the offensive glass from Adams. Good box out you see too, and he skies for that one and just snatches it away. He talked about Adams being a nice quick jumper. He's the Wake Forest transfer, you know, now with the, the portal. He's a Piscataway, New Jersey product, home of Rutgers University. He actually briefly played with Kyle Lofton at Union Catholic back in Jersey. And in his, he played in nine games for Wake Forest a year ago but 70% of the minutes he played last year came in the final four games. So he was really starting to figure it out. I know Wake Forest liked what they saw from him, wanted to keep him, but he comes here to find himself a role on a team that has aspirations of going deep into March. Listed as a redshirt freshman, Adam, 6'3". Misses them both at the free throw line now. And here come the Saxons, trailing just by five. As Schmidt, he is going to be fouled in the act of shooting, and he'll shoot a pair. So Mike Schmidt, leading scorer last year in that short season. There's a timeout on the floor, and we'll take one as well. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Uniting clinical excellence and hometown access. Uniting top doctors and treasured patients. Uniting Bradford Regional Medical Center and Olean General Hospital. Learn how we're joining forces for our future. This is more than a game. This is athletic excellence meets academic discipline. With every second on the court, bodies are moving and minds are working. Solving problems, setting records. Developing skills for basketball and beyond. This is dedication. This is strength. This is the Atlantic 10. Western New York is known for energy innovation. Today, Energy Mark is leading the way for the next generation of renewable energy. At Energy Mark, we help power Western New York homes and businesses with low cost, locally produced energy, including renewables like solar and wind power. Energy Mark, the official energy supplier to the Buffalo Bills. Connect your account to Energy Mark at buylocalenergy.com. Uniting clinical excellence and hometown access. Uniting top doctors and treasured patients. Uniting Bradford Regional Medical Center and Olean General Hospital. Learn how we're joining forces for our future. 
We're back 7.56 left to go in the first half here at St. Bonaventure in the Riley Center. 27 to 22 our score. The Bonnies not up as by as much as I thought they might be at this juncture. But Saxon's playing tough and both teams shuttling in players. So Schmidt will shoot a pair here, and the southpaw knocks down the first one. Yeah, you definitely just want to see, you want to see that lead increase, but more importantly, you want to see some good minutes, run your sets, and get into a rhythm going into Tuesday night. Yeah, Bonas has been a little, a little cold from the perimeter. Schmidt, however, not cold for the Saxons, knocks down two free throws, and draws the Saxons to within three. And he leads all scorers with ten. Welch will go to the rim, and he'll be fouled by Brewster Marshall, his second, I believe. So Welch will get an opportunity at the free throw stripe. Cheek to Waga, New York product. He's a terrific player in high school, certainly is here at Bonas as well, but Leading scorer in Section 6 history in high school, past Richie Campbell, who did it back in the 70s. Welsh, however, misses both of those free throws. He's, he's third right now among active Atlantic 10 players in career threes with 166, and he's ninth in St. Bonaventure history. Definitely can change a lot of that going into the year. Saxon into forecourt. They get a look at a triple. That one. No good, Anthony Ruffino missing short. That may have been deflected, that came out funny. Bonnie's up by three, into four court. And Jacques Tejore, who had big slam there moments ago, in the corner. Welch thought about the step back, thinks better of it. Shot clock is down to seven. Holmes with a crossover, he'll go to the rim and lays it in! Good take from Holmes. He usually read that perfectly as the screen comes and is able to use his quickness to lay it home. Schmidt into forecourt for the Saxons. Dump it down low. Good D knocking it out of bounds is Justin and Josh Jore. Pure freshman, six foot seven. Well, if you, if you look at his body type, definitely you want him to put on some weight throughout his time at Bonaventure, but it reminds me a lot of Denzel Gregg, just long, athletic, and we'll see what else he can give you. Little runner again from Schmidt, and this one is no good. Too close to the bucket, I guess. Needs to be about 19 feet for the runner. <laughs> Jaron Holmes coming the other way. He dumps it in the corner. Back up top, a little reset. Oshun. Little down low pass, and now in Jack DeJore, and he gets a nice little kiss off the glass. A good body control and good ball movement from St. Bonaventure. Everybody touched it on that possession. Bonnie's by seven. And Schmidt with a runner. He's rejected by Oshun. Little two on one break coming the other way to the glass, and Jack DeJore. Boy, that was smooth from Justin and Jack DeJore. 33-24, I think the largest lead in the ball game for the Bonnies. No, Shun didn't even jump on that block, really. Schmidt from downtown, that one won't go, and Oshun will clear the glass. Holmes quickly into forecourt, down low, finds a Jack DeJore, and we're gonna get a foul, no bucket though. Foul on the floor. Pretty quick whistle. Yeah, very. I would have flipped it. I would have thought that other one right. would, would not have gone, <laughs> not accounted, but it did. It's the exhibition games for everybody in here. That's right. That's right. Oh, those, you know, these officials here tonight, very veteran. Very. Foul on the floor. They bring it in. Welch for the triple and halfway home and comes out. Good looking out of bounds player, though. Exactly what you draw up. And open Welch three in the corner. Just can't stick it. Kenneth Allison on the floor now for the Saxons, playing a guard position. Over to Kieran, little lefty runner, and they're gonna get an offensive foul. No bucket. And a big smile from Oshuni as he takes that charge. 
Bonnies are so good at taking charge charges offensive fouls or creating them. It's been that way for a while. Go back to say Dion Wright, Andrew Ni Andrew Nicholson before that really got it started. Then Ladarian Griffin and Courtney Stocker. Down low to Shun, working with his back to the bucket. Nice move! Lays it in with the left. That's one of the smoothest moves I, you've seen from Oshuni in four years. And he talked at media day about how he was told by scouts, you want to play at the next level, you need to work on your offensive game. It looks like you put in some work right there. Yeah, there's only so many Dennis Rodmans are going to make <laughs> it in the NBA. You got to score. Saxon's coming the other way. There's a triple in the corner. Halfway home from Cole Ells. Ball out of bounds, and Saxons will keep it. 35-24, our score with 4.39 on that first half clock. So the Bonnies season opener is coming up here on Tuesday, November 9th against Siena right here in the Riley Center. That'll be on ESPN+. Plus. That'll be interesting, too. Siena, kind of a new-look team. They don't have Jalen Pickett, their star, anymore. Nice move down low by Cole Ells, but he can't finish. And the Bonnies will bring it into forecourt. Holmes from deep. Count it! Jaron Holmes shot 38% from three last year. That was a deep one. Bonnies extend their largest lead, 38-24. Saxon's into forecourt. Their Schmidt goes to the rim. They're going to get a walk here. Oh, no, they're going to call a block on the Bonnies. So Justin and Jack Cejore will get the personal. Some fancy moves there from Schmidt. It's just the sixth team foul, so not in the bonus yet. Linton Brown is going to come back into the Bonnie lineup, and then Jack Cejore will... Take a seat. Some quality minutes for Coach Mark Schmidt. He really got it going, moving without the basketball on the other end. That, that dunk really seemed to wake him up and get him into the flow of the game. Little weave out front, frees up a triple by the Saxons. No good. Linton Brown on the rebound. He'll bring it into four quarters, trying to go coast to coast. Off the glass and count it. Now Linton Brown. I've said it a couple times, but he's really impressed me at driving to the basket today. He's been very under control. And he's trying to fill that role, but maybe improve on that role from A.J. Vasquez a year ago. You need consistency from that top guard off the bench. Schmidt's shot is partially blocked, and here come the Bonnies. Down low, they go to Ashun, and he lays it in. Another two points for the big man. Good penetration from Adams, a little flip, and Oshuni lays it home. So Bonnie's, as we all know, they lost everybody on the team except for the five starters. <laughs> it's an entire new bench this year. A yeah, remade bench, and when you remake it with two ACC transfers, a Juco scorer, some bigs, and then some promising freshmen, you feel good about it with that turnover. Amen. There's Linton Brown from distance. He can't get it to go. The tip back, no good. We're going to have a third shot, and Oshun will be rejected, but a foul call. And Oshuni is going to head to the line and shoot a pair. But first, we'll take a media timeout here. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act okay. on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. I've got that blue sky. I've 
Reggie Bush used to eat breakfast somewhere else. Then you try Wendy's breakfast. Now we can't get rid of them. Can you believe this breakfast croissant is only $1.99? Yeah, Reggie. I put the sign up. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. The Mexico Grand Prix, presented by Mother's Polish, Sunday on ABC. The Riley Center, somewhat subdued here. We have the green light halftime report coming up. We'll have stats and highlights. And we'll bring you that action here. It's 2.44 left before intermission. So the green light halftime is on the near horizon. 42 to 24. Bonnie's up by 18. Game was close for quite a while. And then, as you might expect, Bonnie's kind of extended their lead there. Yeah. See you. They picked up the intensity on the defensive end and then really turned that into offense. That was the best stretch they played for sure. Oshuni will shoot a pair, knocks down the first one. One more coming from the senior. And that's good. Do you have any sense of, you know, these these five seniors can play another year if they wanted to? Do you have any sense of what they're going to do? Uh, I I think that's what everybody wants to know, but I don't know that any of them have said anything, made a decision. I feel like it's let's get through this year, see how things happen. But boy, that would be something, huh? Low post pass by Schmidt goes out of bounds, and that'll be a turnover for the Saxons. Bonnies will get it back. They lead by 20 after the two free throws from Oshun. Into forecourt. Adams works with it. Dumps it back outside. And we're going to get a foul on the Bonnies away from the basketball. Yeah, he used his arms really trying to get himself free. And anytime you extend those arms, they're going to call it. That's another big man that can play the five. It's Olua Shagoon Dural Sydney, commonly referred to as Dura. And here comes Schmidt the other way. He's rejected. He's an offensive get, though, by the Saxons, and they get a great look at a three. It won't go by Els, and another offensive board. And Brown missed time that jump. Kick it back out. Another great look at a three for the Saxons. That one won't go. Enders a little long. Ball out of bounds, and finally the Bonnies will get it. That was a good offensive possession. They just couldn't, uh, came away empty. You guys can't see it with that angle there, but Mark Schmidt has that, what are you doing? Why didn't you box out look on his face? <laughs> and it's a good sight to see, I'll tell you that. He gets that, he gets that double eyebrow <laughs> look there, and you don't want to be on the wrong end of that look. Linton Brown drives baseline and a whistle. I think they'll say Brown stepped on the end line. So the Bonnies up by 20 as we approach halftime. You wonder going into the second half how much you'll see the three of the five starters that, that dress tonight. Saxons at Sam Erickson. And he can't convert. Coming the other way and in a tough one, Quadri Adams. Keeps his balance and knocks down a deuce in transition. Yeah, somehow able to keep his balance just long enough to lay that home. Ball was thrown right to him and he made the most of it. Good look down low and the fall away deuce by Sam Erickson is good this time. Yeah, Erickson brought some rain on that shot. Boy, that was high up there. Holmes drives down low. And he'll dump it down to Dura. Dura working with his back to the bucket and hammer it home. And a good move and a tough catch. I was more impressed by the catch, but good footwork. And then throws it down. Well, Erickson, you know, committed to trying to draw that charge. And when you do that, you know, the, if you don't get the call, the ball game's over, so to speak. Oh, yeah, it's a walk-in at that point. Schmidt works outside. And there's Erickson. He'll pull the trigger on a long three. He can't convert. Offensive glass by the Saxons. Yeah, another offensive rebound. 
down. Easy pass. Nice pass. One extra pass by Schmidt. That gets a deuce for Elliott Bowen. And the Bonnies will hold for last shot here at the end of the first period. And Jaron Holmes, he'll be fouled in the act. And he'll shoot a pair with just four seconds left to go on that first half clock. The second he got inside the three-point line, he knew he was getting fouled. He got the defender on his back. The second he got too close, able to jump up, get the foul call. Coming up, we're going to have the green light halftime report. That was uh, some serious public address problem there. <laughs> and that'll get the fans riled up, though. <laughs> Fans cheering, Jeff Anderson laughing. We're having a good day here in the Riley Center. Well, we're missing a camera. So we, <laughs> we usually have three cameras, and the main one we're, is the one we're missing, the one up top. So back to the green light halftime report. We'll have highlights, and then we'll have stats. It's a new sound system here, though, in the Riley Center. When you come on down to the arena, you'll see that. It's, when you're up top in the red, you'll be able to hear a lot more clearly, and I think some people found that out the hard way. And, uh, Great, great board here, scoreboard right over midcourt. It's been up here for a few years. Jaron Holmes knocks down both free throws. He makes it 50 to 28 as we're approaching the end of the first half. And we'll see if Schmidt heaves a half quarter. That's not too bad, but is no good. So it's 50 for the Bonnies and 28 for the Saxons of Alfred University at intermission. We'll take a break, but coming up, it's the Greenlight Halftime Report right here on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act okay. on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. Quarter pound king in the two for six, only at BK. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Powered by 3D vision, Tempo is the interactive technology that trains you with thousands of workouts, including strength training to cardio, yoga, boxing, and more. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo. Find your strength. I told you I was going to win. With Windows 11, gaming performs to another level. Let's go! And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. It's so cool that we'll have access to movie theater level quality pretty much anywhere. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. I can't believe there's no lag. I didn't realize how bad you were until I got these really good graphics. <laughs> Sled as fast as Cricket 5G. <laughs> oh. Selfie. It's the Green Light Halftime Show where we just watch the St. Bonaventure cheerleaders perform. I have a Soft spot in my heart there for the Bonnet cheerleaders. My daughter, Carlin, she was a cheerleader here for four years during, during her time at, at Bonnie's. And now we'll have some highlights here at the Green Line Halftime Show.
And there's that jumper from the corner and <laughs> for the Saxons. And then there's that bomb. That, that floater was unbelievable. You see Marshall Brewster get inside. Some cleanup work from Brewster. And then for the Bonnies, they really got going late in the game. There's your first bucket. It was Jaron Holmes, a little spin. Oshun, Oshuni, a little thunder dunk to get the crowd really fired up for the first time. Linton Brown, the newcomer, shot 48% from three at Juco. Hit his first, and another slam. Justin and Jock DeJore. And there's that barely jumping over a phone book block from Oshun, Oshuni. Jaron Holmes, 38% last year. Bomb three, and Duro. Good move, great catch before, and another dunk for the Bonnies. So good stuff here at the Riley Center. The, the Bonnies that open up a sizable lead at intermission. And we're going to take another break here. And when we come back, we'll have our first half stats presented by Zippo. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus. How are you? The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. For me? You shouldn't have. And there's more where that came from. No kidding. It's everything you wish for, including the price. Karim Marie, Karim Marie, I got you some stuff for, uh, for your new laptop. Power station, dongle, and a hotspot. Dad, why? Because I know about technology stuff. OK, well, have you ever heard of Wi-Fi 6, touchscreen, super long-lasting battery life? Because this has all of that. But I knew, you know, you know what, I knew that. Actually, this is stuff for my laptop. Mm-hmm. I was just quizzing you. Okay. You passed, by the way. Want a laptop that has it all? That's Intel Evo. Subway has so much new. I ran out of time in the last day. Well, I'll take it from here. Sorry, Steph. Spokesperson, refresh. Wait, what? Subway just upped their bread game with the help of some world-class bakers. Looking at you, Nance. Gotta refresh to be fresh. How many people are in this ad? That means freshly baked, new artist in Italian, and hearty multigrain. Hmm, that would go good with... Seriously? I didn't even get to finish. Oh, see you next commercial. Rain, rain, don't go away. It's pouring and we want to play. So let's drive on our merry way. Rain-X Premium Wiper Blades give you the confidence to welcome any weather. Rain-X, outsmart the elements. Hey, 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 how you doing, baby? You look mighty fine, I figured I might come your way and roll up on you with that golden ticket. Try to get, I get your Smell tickets, irresistible. Hey, 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 New X. Hey, hey, hey. Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone, and though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. We're back at the Greenlight Halftime Show. At intermission, the Bonnie's up 50 to 28. And now we're going to present our first, time, first half stats presented by Zippo. And there you see the Saxons, 9 of 31 from the floor and just 2 of 13 from three-point land. Chris, that's, that's not what you want to see. No, the, to stay in this, they were going to have to hit a lot of threes. And except for that offensive rebound stretch the Bonnies gave up a couple possessions in a row, they've done a really good job at the three-point line, closing out, making it tough for the Saxons. 
the Bonnie's not too bad from the floor, over 50%, but still the Bonnie's also a little cold from the outside the uh, three-point arc. Yeah, haven't shot the ball that well, but they've shared it well and got some easy buckets inside. 32 points in the paint, like you said, Tom. Bonnie's win the rebound battle, but not too bad for the Saxons. You know, just, just a 23-16 deficit there, and the Saxons, honestly, on the offensive glass, it, have done a pretty good job. Yeah, if you're outmatched in terms of size. So if, if I'm the Saxons, that's a, that's a win. And so if you're St. Bonaventure, you really want to see that boxing out in the second half and just sticking with which, what Coach Schmidt wants to happen. Just three turnovers, just to digress back to that, that graphic there for the Bonnies. That's, that's a very good sign. Schmidt, leading scorer for the Saxons with 10, and Brewster Marshall with, with five, and it's Oshun Oshuni with 10 points, Linton Brown, with nine, Brown's points came early. And Brown was an impressive first half, both on the perimeter and taking it to the rack. All right, we'll take our last break here. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape, love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. This is called momentum. And there's no off season, just work that builds on itself over and over and over again. Because the only way is through. The quarter pound king in the two for six, only at BK. Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone, and though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. Rain, rain, don't go away. Come again, day after day. Although the rain is coming down, we see no reason for a frown. It's pouring and we want to play. So let's drive on our merry way. Rain-X Premium Wiper Blades give you the confidence to welcome any weather. Rain-X, outsmart the elements. For me? You shouldn't have. And there's more where that came from. No kidding. It's everything you wish for, including the price. Here in Maddenland, dreams are made with the dream team you build. Can we preserve our only home while still enjoying that thrill of being human? Welcome back to the Riley Center. I'm Tom Ames alongside Chris Shepner. It's 50 to 28 in intermission here. The Bonnie's on top by, by 22. The Saxons will not have much rest here before they go at it again. They're back at home on November 6th, which is Saturday, against Brockport, a non-leaguer. And the Bonnie's. They'll be back on ESPN Plus on Tuesday, November 9th at 7 p.m. That'll be a, a double.
Duty game there for ESPN Plus because the women will play against Robert Morris at 11.30 a.m. on that Tuesday. That's like your baseball day-night doubleheader there. That's right. So you'll, are you doing both games, Chris? I am doing the men's game at night. So, no, I'm not on double duty that day. So, Bonas, that'll be their season and their home opener. I'll be sitting right across the way there in those, <laughs> in those blues for that game. So Alfred hung tough here for quite a while in this exhibition game here at the Riley Center. But uh, sooner or later, you know, you're, you're talking about a, a team that is preseason number 23 or number 24 ranked in the nation, depending on which poll you look at, AP or USA Today, against the Saxons. And nothing against the Saxons. It's a great program. They were 5-2 and two last year in that shortened season. But they play in the Empire 8. They're D3. And, and – uh, but it's nice, you know, they're just down the road and there's some family ties here with Steve Curran, son, Casey plays for the Saxons, Coach Mark Schmidt's son, Mike plays for the Saxons. Mike, by the way, Schmidt is the leading scorer last year for the Saxons, the guy can play, he's a good point guard. Watched him quite a bit when he played for the Huskies of Olean High School and, and all, all of Mark Schmidt's kids can, can play basketball just, and, and there's they uh, two other ones went to Alfred, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. That's been a cool feature for, for Mark Schmidt and his sons to be able to have that and play against each other, so to speak. And I know he was quoted as saying, you know, that's going to be something when, when I'm old and we can look back at this and sit down and say, yeah, we did this and played against each other. I got to coach against my sons. And it's now the same thing for Steve Curran. And what a special thing to share the court for them. Uh, amen. And, and, you know, in my opinion, the St. Bonaventure community is so lucky to have Mark Schmidt. He took us out of the dark years, and, and he's built us back. This Mark Schmidt in his 15th year now, and, and uh, you know, I just God bless that we have Mark Schmidt here. Absolutely. I mean, he has taken the Bonnies of the promised land and then some and looking to continue that this year. Yeah, probably the most lofty goals we've had, well, in 50 years. Yeah. Last time we were ranked in the top 25. Well, I take that back, 25th and 77 in the NAT team. So second half action upon us here as the Saxons turn it over promptly. And coming the other way, Bonnie's, they, the tip back by Oshun on the miss by Quadri Adams gives Bonnie's two to open up the second half. As always, a good cleanup for Moshuni, just staying in the play, following the shot. Too easy. Saxons up top. Schmidt, little backdoor pass. That was ill-advised, stolen away by Adams, and there's Holmes in transition. He goes to the rim and count it. Almost lost the ball, regained it, able to float it home. So Schmidt. The turnover. That's not what you want. A timeout with 52 seconds in. Now yeah, we'll stay with you. To the Bonnies. Just looking for my man with the card. We are going to take a break. So a quick timeout taken by the Saxons. You're watching men's college basketball. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's drive. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. I told you I was going to win. 
with Windows 11, gaming performs to another level. Let's go! And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. It's so cool that we'll have access to movie theater level quality pretty much anywhere. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. I can't believe there's no lag. I didn't realize how bad you were until I got these really good graphics. <laughs> At T-Mobile for Business, unconventional thinking means we see things differently so you can focus on what matters most. Whether it's ensuring food arrives as fresh as when it departs, being first on the scene when every second counts, or teaching biology without a lab. We are the leader in 5G and a partner who delivers exceptional customer support and 5G included in every plan. So you get it all without trade-offs. Unconventional thinking, it's better for business. Backside of the Saxon timeout. And Abdul Kareem Koulibaly checks in at the five position, and Oshun will take a seat. And as you said, Chris, probably a good idea. Yeah, in the exhibition game, he's, he's got his minutes. Here's a steal. Quadri Adams, and he'll take it high for the jam. Boy, did he get up on that one. Effortless dunk from Quadri Adams. He's even got a smile on his face. Schmidt coming the other way. And there's a pass down low, nearly picked off. Schmidt kind of turned it over a couple of times, trying to get a tough pass down low. Yeah, hot potato. Nobody seems to want to value the basketball right now for the Saxons. Shot clock at five. And Schmidt, he'll go to the rim. There's a little teardrop. Oh, they're not going to count it. They'll say it hit the 30-second clock or some part of that apparatus above the backboard. That's out of bounds. If you hit that little corner of the backboard, you're okay. Yeah, just can't get the top. It's almost like Mark Schmidt was campaigning to get his, his son a bucket there with Re referee Jeff Anderson. Linton Brown goes baseline, a little runner, no. Rebound, Saxons. Good job on the glass by Alfred. Yeah, it was a good box out from Brewster. Or Marshall, Brewster Marshall, that is. Bowen down low, looking to pass from the low post. Got to watch the five-second call. Now he gets it into the corner. Out front, there's his step back. Three, count it! Really good fake and control. Cole Ells with a triple. 56-31 now. Just underway. Second half at the Riley Center in an exhibition game. There's a triple from Linton Brown in the corner. I think that was a big question Bonnie's fans had was, can Linton Brown be that shooter he's advertised as? And so far, so good. Like his stroke, very smooth, easy, easy looking shot. Uh, we, you, know, you can't have too many three point shooters. Not in today's day and age, definitely. What a great give and go there, but can't convert Brewster Marshall. And the Bonnies head into forecourt. Welch finds Brown, pull up. No, that's Quadri Adams, no good, but there's a nice offensive glass by Kareem Koulibaly. Ball out of bounds and it's gonna be Saxon basketball. A little sloppy down low for the Bonnies. Yeah, Adams had Brown wide open in the corner. If he took one dribble and kicked it, he would have had a wide open shooter. Still a big 28 point lead for the Bonnies. Schmidt into forecourt. Looking inside, now he dumps it down low. A little one on one. Brewster Marshall off the glass, count it. That's a good move and a quick release. You know, if you try to go completely over the top and, and hang in the air, you're not going to over a bigger defender. He kind of quick released it and was able to lay it home. Marshall's second leading scorer for the Saxons last year at about 13 points a game. There's a triple from Welch. Now Welch says hand down, man down, fires away and hits. 62-33, Bonnies. Schmidt, what a great ball handler against the tough defensive team, I might add. Ells thought about the long two. There's a steal out front, and Welch is going to hammer the ball. Woohoo! He looked over at the bench to make sure nobody was behind him before he spun around. Just like that, Dom Welch has 10. Saxons, low post pass to Ells. Out front, Schmidt, triple. Oh, halfway home and it comes out. Bonnie's in transition. 
Holmes works it down low, kicks it outside. Linton Brown short off the iron. Kareem Koulibaly gets the rebound, and his pass is going to be stolen away. And we've got an injured Bonnie Dom Welch down. That is not something you want to see in an exhibition game if you're the Bonnies. And that was just off our camera angle. It's tough to see. He hasn't really touched anything else. You never want to speculate, but we'll see. He just got whacked in the face on a loose ball. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, if I was speculating and, and looking at what we can see here, he's down at the end of the court toward the Hall of Fame room end of the court, if you will. Right where if you see Steve Curran there, Steve Curran's looking right down at him. Today needs compassion, wisdom, and integrity more than ever. And at St. Bonaventure, they've always been at the core of who we are and what we teach. With an education rooted in Franciscan values, we nurture both heart and mind, welcome you into a community that celebrates individuality, prepare you for what's next, and help you form lifelong connections without a lifetime of debt. Come see for yourself what it means to be a Bonnie and how in today's world, a different kind of experience can make all the difference. Schultz is always at your service, ensuring your vehicle gets the maintenance it requires. Now, with modern, touchless options across the entire auto care experience. Speak with a service advisor on the phone or at one of our newly envisioned service centers. Pay invoices online or via mobile app. And drive home in confidence knowing Schultz only permits limited personnel access to your vehicle. Exceeding expectations is our mission. That's why the next generation of auto care is already here at Schultz. Uniting clinical excellence and hometown access. Uniting top doctors and treasured patients. Uniting Bradford Regional Medical Center and Olean General Hospital. Learn how we're joining forces for our future. Uniting clinical excellence and hometown access. Uniting top doctors and treasured patients. Uniting Bradford Regional Medical Center and Olean General Hospital. Learn how we're joining forces for our future. We're back past the first media timeout here. So concerned about Don Welch's health there. We kind of forgot that it was a break for the media at this when they stopped the game for his injury. And we'll get try to get a report on Dom. Looked like he kind of got a whacked in the head. Saxon's coming the other way. They get a good look at a triple from Brewster Marshall. And there's another shot to the head. And this time, it's Saizano. And, and it was unintentional, you could tell. Jorian Saizano, the freshman from Netherlands. I think he's going to make it. Just crashing hard, elbow right to the face, and that'll wake you up the second you get right in the game, but he's staying in. <laughs> the student section let him know, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they just welcome the opportunity to get on somebody. Absolutely. Saizano. Gave dumps, it right back a little. Yeah, dumps it back outside. Looking inside, Saizano, he wants to take that three. They're guarding him closely. They go down low, and Kareem Kula Kalabali can't convert. There'll be a foul on the putback, and I think that's Linton Brown will go to the stripe, shoot a pair. Yeah, good box out inside from Brown. Held everybody off, grabbed that rebound. So Brown now with 12 points, fixing to make it 14, he hopes. First one on its way is good. Bonnie's up big. Almost. Well, you knock this down, you'll have him doubled up at 66 to 33. I believe the average score, differential, I should say, of these two teams in the four or five exhibition games they've played, 39 points. So it's about what you expect. It's a good opportunity, though, for the Saxons. Absolutely. 
Not a lot of D3 schools <laughs> have a top 25 school just down the road. Saxon's coming the other way, can't get it to go on the layup, and here come the Bonnies. Saizano drives it down low, he'll have to kick it out. Definitely looking forward to seeing Saizano run the show now and see what he can bring as a point guard. Adams goes to the rim, count it! Nice baseline move by Quadri Adams. Yeah, we talked about that quickness, he used it right there, just beat him on the first step and lays it home with the left hand. Justin Phillips running the point for the Saxons. He dumps it to Sam Erickson, and he goes from downtown, can't get it to go, and Linton Brown on the rebound for the Bonnies. Up top, Saizano. Not as much movement in this offense right now. Quadri Adams, he knocks down from distance. Quadri Adams says, shut up, that's why you're sitting there, and that's why I'm playing over here. Saizano could play what the two, the two and the one, the point and the shooting guard. And he may be your future point guard. We shall see. Maybe a guy who can also spell Kyle Lofton, take some pressure off Jaron Holmes. Maybe play them together. Yeah, it'd be nice not to have Lofton playing 38 minutes a game. Sometimes 40. Yeah, he's played 94 percent of his possible career minutes. There's a triple from outside. Sam Erickson can't get that one to go. 71-33, our score. Bonnie's on top here with about 13 minutes left to go in the game. And there's Saizano from the corner triple. Great extra pass all the way around. Just about everybody on the perimeter had a chance to shoot that. They work it all the way into the corner, and Saizano hits it. Saizano hit it right in front of perhaps the man that controls the throne now, and that's Lofton. Maybe Saizano will take his position when Lofton decides to call it quits as a Bonnie. There's a long three-point attempt by the Saxons went awry. And Casey Curran checks back into the Saxon lineup. And Brewster Marshall will take a seat. So the Bonnie's up big as we thought. A lot of players seeing a lot of action here tonight for both teams. And that's exactly what these are designed for. Get you some looks, run some different sets, and just get some different action that's not against your own team. Outside, Kareem Koulibaly thought about it. Instead, he takes it to the rim, count it. That is a big man at 6'9", 235, going to the rack. Yeah, tough matchup there for Casey Curran, standing 6'5", 210. Probably the biggest guy he's going to guard all year. Foul line extended. Erickson, he gives it up. Hard to squeeze off a shot when the six mind monster, Kareem Kulabali, <laughs> has governed you. But there, Erickson manages to. He draws a little rain with that arcing triple. No good. And here come the Bonnies. Kareem Kulabali down low. He gets the left, soft left to go. He could awareness. He went to spin to his right. There's a defender there, comes right back to the left, knows nobody's home on the left side and is able to lay it in. Saxon's into forecourt. Kern with the basketball, draws a double team, and he's stripped. Kareem Koulibaly up ahead. Adams going to go to the rim, pull up, can't get it to go. Ball out of bounds, Bonnies will keep it. There's a media timeout, but we're going to stay here with you. And uh, some stats from that previous timeout. It was Oshun and Linton Brown leading the way with 12 points. Scott Eddy will bring us some fresh stats here in a moment. Then it was Mike Schmidt leading the way for the Saxons with 10 points. So now we have a T-shirt toss. You know, in all my years, I've been coming to all these games, all these years as a student, never got a T-shirt. <laughs> and then with my daughter, by the way, Carlin, when you were a cheerleader, and they brought, they used to bring the pizzas out, never got a oh, pizza. That's tough. Come on. <laughs> I wanted my daughter to show me a little love, and I, I never got the pizza. So here they get the, the, we got the uh, T-shirt gun right in front of us there. I don't know about you, but I didn't feel safe with that with the t-shirt gun. <laughs> the 
see what Linton Brown's done there. 14.6 boards. Really trying to fill that role of a sixth man a, a, as a guard. We know Koulibaly's going to play quite as the maybe sixth man spell some guys inside. If you want to play big, definitely give Oshuni a break. But Linton Brown has been very impressive. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what a guy to, to have come off your bench. And, uh, I mean, he, he was the, the well, like a top 10 Juco prospect. And he, he decided to come to Bonaventure at a, as a redshirt sophomore and knowing he's not going to be a starter this year, but he, he knows what's on the horizon, and, and he'll, see, he'll see tons of minutes. Yeah, a Juco All-American, 18 points per game, 48% from three. Entry pass from Saizano is stolen away by the Saxons. Not a great entry pass there. Saxons in the forecourt. Pass out front, Linton Brown on the steal. He dumps it off to Saizano who lays it in. Saizano was just streaking wide open with his hands out like, please, I'm wide open, give it to me. <laughs> you, you never want to throw that pass from the corner to the opposite wing. That's a layup every single time. Little runner by Justin Phillips, a little long off the iron. And here come the Bonnies. Entry pass trying to get it down into Olua Shagoon Durrell Sinmi. Say that three times fast. Better known as Dura. And that pass goes awry. Turnover, Bonas. 80-33, our score. Bonnie's on top. Phillips trying to work against Jacques Tejore. There's a kick out. Good look at the triple. Short off the iron and another offensive rebound by Curran this time. He dumps it in. There's a little runner off the glass. Good luck. Can't get it to go. And Jack Tejore in the forecourt. Brown drives baseline, and he's going to get fouled, I think, on the floor. That's about the third team foul. Bonnie's with no fouls in this half. They've been a pretty clean half so far. And we're, we're about halfway through, 9.56 yeah, left to go. Through. Oh, just missed him. Saizano with a bad entry pass. They would have had a dunk there. But it's stolen away. Coming the other way, Saxons. And what a nice take by Kenneth Allison. And he scores under heavy pressure. Yeah, Allison muscled that through. Saizano definitely got a piece of it. Saizano out front now. And Dura at the high post. And Jack Tejore. Bonnie's. Not a lot of movement. We're under 10 on the shot clock. And Jack Tijori drives baseline, reverse count it. Got the step, never want to give it the baseline, just too quick. Lays it home, that was smooth, and slowed his movement up once he got to the rim so he didn't throw it up too hard. I see Anwar Malouk heads to the scorer table. There was some talk of him redshirting. And he's going to get his first action here today. It, it was talk of Anwar Malouk and Brett Rumpel. Well, maybe you can confirm that they, they were talking about some red shirt activity there. Yeah, they've talked. They've, they've said that one out loud. Brett Rumpel, he's in street clothes. He, he is. The plan is for him to red shirt this year. I, I'm really looking forward to when, when that kid gets out. He's a product out of Binghamton and can shoot the rock. Yeah. He's a 35 point per game scorer in his last full year. And new recruit media called him arguably the quickest guard in the nation. Mm, good stuff. We'll have to wait a year. <laughs> Saxons and Kenneth Allison, he's stripped and coming the other way. We got a Bonnie Duncan transition. Quadri Adams. Anwar Malouk made that play, though. He comes in, gets the steal. Somehow, he, as he's falling, finds Adams in a flush. You always want to see that first time you step on the floor at a new level, come in, make an impact play right away. And Malouk does just that. Just that. Giaquinto working out front for the Saxons. Picked up by Linton Brown. Giaquinto goes to the rack, and we're going to get a block call on the Bonnies. Should be a two-shot foul, and it is. Kenneth Allison, he's a fifth-year player. Out of Troy, New York. 
That's down in the RPI area where Eric Kempfe, the head man for the Saxons, coached for the last four years. First free throw up from Kenneth Allison is good. He'll shoot a note. Nice stroke from the line. Into forecourt. Anwar Malouk at 6-8 getting his first action. See if he can get his hands on the basketball. Saizano finds a little good look at a triple. It won't go. And we're going to a little over the back call on Dura. Yeah, he'll call that one every time. That just the, well, now the third foul. So that <laughs> jinx the Bonnies. <laughs> the old announcer jinx. Three team fouls for both teams. Saxons with a basketball. Go to that high post. Looking a backdoor look, not there. Now you find a little give and go for the Saxons. Good ball movement, but there's a steal. That's second one for Malouk. Malouk out of the Netherlands. Over to Adams, goes to the room again. Reverse layup, Quadri Adams. Some quality minutes here for the Bonnies. Boy, is he quick. He saw there was nobody with any help. Beats him on one step. Ellison out front. Put step back against Saizano and knocks down the long two. That was a real good move. All right, timeout is taken on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus. What's the best way to pick the right college? Use your head and make a practical choice based on cost and academics? Or follow your heart to a place that just feels right? At St. Bonaventure, you can do both. Here, you'll join a unique community that celebrates your individuality, meet professors as passionate about people as they are about learning, and form lifelong connections without a lifetime of debt. Come see for yourself why St. Bonaventure isn't just a special place, it's a smart choice. Western New York is known for energy innovation. Today, Energy Mark is leading the way for the next generation of renewable energy. At Energy Mark, we help power Western New York homes and businesses with low cost, locally produced energy, including renewables like solar and wind power. Energy Mark, the official energy supplier to the Buffalo Bills. Connect your account to Energy Mark at buylocalenergy.com. Seven minutes remaining in the contest. Bonnie's up big, 86-39. Mike Schmidt tonight with 10 points. He leads the Saxons. For the Bonnies, it's Linton Brown with 14. Nice first game, so to speak. Quadri Adams right behind Brown with 13 points. 11 each for Jaron Holmes and Abdul Kareem Kulabali. I think Bonnie's starters are seen all they're going to see here tonight. And I think that's what you want if you're a Bonnie's fan for sure. No need to bring them back in here. You broke a sweat. You got ready for in your dress rehearsal for Tuesday night. And now let's take a look at the young guys. Bonnie's on offense. And we're going to three second violation against Malouk, I believe. And the Saxons will get it back. 
If you're the Saxons, you really want to take care of the basketball a little bit better. Just four assists, 16 turnovers so far. Well, Luke almost comes up with his third steal instead. It turns into a Brett Swish two-point conversion. He went to Will North. Cover that kid and I guess it's not a kid anymore. <laughs> Cover that man in high school. Quadri Adams trying to create off the dribble. He finds Saisano deep. Won't go. Long rebound. Linton Brown, good hustle. Bonnies will get another. They won't get a new f complete fresh shot clock. But, and there is a block steal. Call it what you want when Saisano went to the rim. Yeah, just not a lot there after the missed three. Try to force it then and get it back. Out front, Allison. Trying to create off the general. It's a little restart, gets a pick. Now they find a nice big man move on a give and go. And that Sergian followed Diop. And he's fouled in the act. I like the minutes they've got out of Allison. He had the nice step back move. He's, he's handled the ball very well and starting to distribute it too. It's followed Diop. I expected to see a little bit more of him. He scored just under a point a game last year. He's a junior. He's out of New York City, went to Washington Irving. But he's a big force underneath there. Listed at 6'7", 225. Yeah, in that league, there's just not a ton of that size. So like you said, a great opportunity to play against some size tonight and see what he's got. Yeah, he's second only to Brewster Marshall for height, in terms of height. Brewster is 6'8", Follow Diop is 6'7". One on a two on that trip for Follow Diop. Bonnie's back in the fourth court. Saizano working off the dribble. Nice spin move to the rim. And you're waiting to see him get going, and that was, give me the ball, get out of my way. I'm, I'm getting one here. Allison again in the forecourt. He's been running the point for quite some time. They slough off him, and Allison makes him pay with a three-pointer. Yeah, puts him up to nine now. Good looking stroke. Saizano. At the top, Saizano gets it back. Quadri Adams, he comes off a pick, gets a look at a triple. That one's short off the iron. It was a good set from the Bonnies, though. Good screens. They got the shot they wanted. Saxons. Trying to create in the forecourt, double team. Enders gets with it, rid of it nicely. Maluk almost had his third steal. Saxon's having a little trouble here. Allison, pass down low. There's a baseline jumper, no good. And that was fouled to Yope. Steal at midcourt. Saxon's get another look and knock it down. That's Brett Swish. Saizano running the point for a much of this second half with Adams playing the two. Maybe getting a look at what the future could look like. Up top now, take it in inside is Dura, and I think they're going to call him for steps. No, three second violation. We're under four minutes and a whistle. That means immediate timeout. You're watching men's college basketball on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act okay. on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Drive. It's what propels the champions, the comeback kids, the underdogs. It means constantly improving, striving, hungry. It's no excuses, no days off, or no glory. It's Drive. Do, 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 do. Sunshine. 
Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Powered by 3D vision, Tempo is the interactive technology that trains you with thousands of workouts, including strength training to cardio, yoga, boxing, and more. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo, find your strength. Bonnie's up big with 347 remaining in the contest. 88-47 our score. And Linton Brown continues to be the leading scorer for the Bonnies, followed by Quadri Adams. Oshun with 12. He's done for the night. Dominic Welsh with 10. He's done for the night. Holmes with 11. Done. Abdul Kareem Koulibaly still out there. He's got 11 points. And Mike Schmidt, 10 points. Leading scorer for the Saxons, followed by Allison, who's played the point, and he's got the ball right now. Best thing you saw to Jaron Holmes is that three short, five assists, no turnovers. Yeah, that's key, because he'll play some point this year. And coming the other way, coast to coast, is Linton Brown. And it's really been the Linton Brown show here for much of the night for the Bonnies. Clock stoppage. So the Bonnies' next game will be their home and season opener. Tuesday, November 9th, right back here at the Riley Center. Siena comes to town. Their sister school, the Franciscans. Allison taking it to the rim. Count it. Nice move by Allison. Just five foot ten. Time and time again in the last few minutes, he's really impressed. Aggressive, good take to the hoop. Used his body to hold off Saizano and laid it home. Bonnie's now into forecourt. Malouk gives it to Saizano for the triple. No good, but Malouk almost on the putback. In for the Bonnie's is Pedro Rossi out of Argentina. He's a freshman. And we're going to get a... Turnover on the Bonnies here. And a little bit of a push off on the way through, but what Coach Schmidt's upset about over there is the ball didn't swing fast enough. And these are those, doesn't matter the score, you're, you're looking to coach for the season here and get some of this tune up right there. So you want a Quadri Adams to swing the ball a little sooner over to Saizano and keep it moving. Some new faces for the Saxons. That's Jackson Sassanella. Jackson's get a good look down low, a miss, but a follow-up by Dylan Kolmetz out of Greece, New York. Went to Greece Odyssey. He'll get the bucket for the Saxons. That was a good follow. Nobody boxed out for St. Bonaventure. It's Kolmetz just got on the floor. Six foot five sophomore, and he makes good use, gets a bucket. Rossi hands it off to Saizano. Brown, they're trying to get it in. They're looking to Malouk, playing the five for the Bonnies. Rossi drives, pull up, teardrop, got it! And everybody goes nuts. The walk-on gets his first bucket on his first shot. 92-51, Bonnies up big. Pedro Rossi is not your typical walk-on. Rossi played on the Argentina under-19 national team. He was the captain of the under-18 and under-19 FIBA three-on-three three World Cup team. So he's played some basketball. Yeah, and speaking of walk-ons, they usually don't come to your team at 6'8", 250. <laughs> right, exactly. So some size if you ever needed it. They're usually a guard. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and a short one at that. Bonnie's into forecourt. Adams goes baseline. I think that's going to be a turnover. Good D by Sassanella. He creates that, that turnover. Yeah, that was weird there. It was almost like Adams tried to step before he was ready to put the ball down. It got bumped and right off of him and out of bounds. I think this is mission accomplished here Absolutely. for the Bonnies and, and the Saxons. I mean, there's a every player saw action. 
and every player really had quality minutes, at least for the Bonnies. Yeah, definitely. You got everybody in, other than Welch getting hit in the face, but he's been all smiles on the, on the bench, so hope he's okay. It's, like you said, mission accomplished. You want to get through an exhibition, run your sets, really just get your feet wet for the season and always avoid injuries. Lofton did not play out with a, a minor leg injury, kind of precautionary. He'll certainly play, as we, we imagine, on Tuesday against Siena in the opener. Jalen Attaway, however, a little sprained ankle. He may not play yeah, in the home opener. He, he posted it. I want to say it was on Instagram, and it was a picture of him, him getting his ankle taped up. There might have been a boot there as well. But, again, it seems uh, he's not that far from the, the way it sounds. Well, the ankles always seem to heal a little more quickly when you're, you know, 19, yes. 20 years old. <laughs> 92-53 now. About a minute left to go in the contest. And Linton Brown will jack a triple. Got it! Brown! What an opening night for Linton Brown, the Juco transfer. There's always somebody who impresses in these exhibition games. But tonight, that's been Linton Brown, 19 points. Shot it very well from deep. So the Saxons. I mean, what, what, if you're the Saxons, what are they going to take away from this? What the positives are you going to say that they'll take yeah, away? They, I mean, they held the Bonnies. It was 27-22 for a stretch before the inevitable took took place. I mean, they battled them tough for a while, and they played hard the whole way through. So Bonnies here with the basketball, which could be the last possession of the ball game. Adams has played good, although he just turned it over on cue. And here comes the Saxons the other way. There'll be a little whistle. Some contact will send Eddie Walzer to the line. And Justin just tried to get in the way there. He probably could have blocked the shot with his length. Instead, just kind of ran through the lane. Walzer out of Marcellus, New York, went to Bishop Ludden. Walzer will... Shoot a pair. First one. A little short off the front iron. 95-53, just, just about concluding here. We'll see in the post game if Mark Schmidt will honor you with an interview. <laughs> Second free throw good in the Bonnies. I think they'll just be content to dribble this one out. And that'll be the final, 95 to 54. And stay with us here as Chris Shetner will head over to the end of the court and try to get an audience with head coach Mark Schmidt in his 15th year. So this was uh, good stuff tonight, and I don't think anybody was surprised at the final score or, or, or how it came out and the Saxons is as Chris pointed out it was a five-point game about midway through that first half 27 to 22 something like that the Saxons played tough every team as you might expect are a little tight beginning both teams very cold from the outside Bonnie's Bonnie's heated it up Lip Brown was, was real good from the outside and here we see Kyle Lofton walking by in street clothes by me right now. We've got Coach Mark Schmidt with us. And Coach, how did it feel just to have fans back in the Riley Center? Oh, it's great. You know, we haven't had fans since March 4th, two years ago. Um, so it's great to have it. You know, that's what the Riley Center is all about. And it's great that the community, the students came out. And, you know, we need them um, much more on, on Tuesday against Siena. Absolutely. Tuesday night against. Coaching against one of your sons. Just tell us about what that's like to coach against Mike. It's a special thing. Um, you know, I, we've coached against Nick and, and Derek and now Mike, and it's something that one thing, and you know, not many dads can, can say they did that. Um, so it's a special thing for our family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, go celebrate this win with Back to you, Tom. All right, we're in the post-game show here. And we'll have some highlights coming our way as we 
I heard some words from head coach Mark Schmidt with Chris. And there's a Saxon step back three, Enders, I think. And the Saxon, there's Allison taking it to the rack. That was a tough take against Saizano. He got it to go. And another pull up two for the Saxons. Little transition bucket is good. And, and now for St. Bonaventure. really get out and transition. A lot of fast break points, dunks. You see that corner three. Anwar Malouk, what a pass. Quadri Adams skying for the dunk. And then Pedro Rossi comes in, and everybody got in on the act today for St. Bonaventure. Just a walk-on kind of just a, a, amazes me. <laughs> you get a guy from Argentina as a walk-on, and it's 6'8". And that kind of size, like you said, you, that, those don't grow on trees. So the final score, 95 to 54. We're waiting for some stats here presented by Highmark. As they load them. There for the Saxon. Had a kind of a tough night from the field, 18 out of 56. The Bonnie's not so bad, 40 out of 66. That's above 50%. And the Bonnie's did a little bit better from beyond the arc in the second half, 8 out of 23. You know, you're still hanging around there just over 25%. And the majority of that came from Linton Brown. He, he shot three of six from three with his 19 points. And I'll tell you, Tom, I, I love to see the assist for St. Bonaventure. Those, a lot of those turnovers came later. You had pointed out at one point they had three turnovers until late in the game when they got a little sloppy and went to the second unit. Yeah, at intermission. So Bonnie's good showing here. They obviously had the rebound edge. And the Saxon, they made that a key to the game. And the Saxons, in the first half, I think, did a little bit of a better job, and, and they, they were noticeably better on the offensive boards. But as they shuffled in just players, it's, it's kind of hard to read too deeply into these stats, Absolutely. if you know what I mean. Shortly here, we're coming up, we'll have the player of the game, which will be presented by Seneca Resort. And we'll wait for that graphic. And it's uh, to no one's surprise here. I mean, to give you one guess, our player of the game, and it's Linton Brown. And Linton Brown put up 19 points. He played 34 minutes of the 40. So obviously head coach Mark Schmidt, Chris, he, he, they wanted to get a look at Linton Brown. Absolutely. You don't play 34 minutes in an exhibition game for no reason. And they wanted to see how he would play not only as a starter and with the three of the normal five starters who played, but then how he can play with, with your second unit and stabilize that as well and play with some of those reserved and uh, reserves to me past every single test you could ask for. Yeah, some good stuff. So Linton Brown, our Seneca Resort player of the game. And just as a reminder, we've talked about it a little bit, but the next St. Bonaventure game on ESPN will be women's game on Tuesday, November 9th at 11.30 a.m. versus Robert Morris. That is Mark Schmidt's uh, first coaching opportunity as a head man. And then the next men's game for St. Bonaventure on ESPN Plus will be the home opener and the season opener. Tuesday, again, Tuesday, November 9th, 7 p.m. Siena comes to town right here in the Riley Center. Well, Chris, it was nice. I think, I think Bonnie's got what they wanted. I think the Saxons got what they wanted. Everybody's healthy. That's what you want in an exhibition game. Let's move on to Tuesday and get the season started. Yeah, good stuff here. And so for Chris Shetner, I'm Tom Ames saying so long from the Riley Center. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and are archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.